Welcome, today is our sculpting day, but we are going to do a little core sculpt with weighted core. So go ahead, grab a couple of uh, weights, maybe two different sets of weights, if not sure exactly which um, weight you're gonna need, how heavy you're gonna want it. Go ahead and take a couple different sets, but at least two weights, we will use one weight the majority of our time, but have the other one available. So if we need it, it's there, you don't have to go grab it. So as you get started, take the legs nice and wide. We're just gonna do a big sweep up and then bring it down, starting to soften the knees, wide stance, up and down, just getting warmed up before we get going too much more into our core, standing core work first. Okay. So as you take it up, I want you to kick your heel back and then come to a slight little sumo squat every time. So drop down, come up, kick, like you're gonna kick your heel to the glutes, the same side. Okay. So kick, good. And last four, three, two, come back to center. Just take the elbows out wide, little cactus arms, soften with the knees. We'll go side to side. Rotation, but I want you to keep those knees wide. So push the knees to the wall behind you. So out to the sides and out behind you. So you're gonna open them up without letting them fall in. Rotation is just from the waist. Good job. Let's go for four more. Four, three, two, and one. Nicely done. Set that down. Go ahead, switch, or excuse me, go ahead and bring your feet in, alternating your kicks right back to center. A little high knee. I want you to take opposite elbow toward the knee. Again, with the rotation and added standing core bonus in our warm up. Keep it going. Just again, using those big muscles. Deep breath. And for four more. So it's four, three, two, and one. Back to center. Just swing the arms forward and back a few times. Big sweep up. Feet slightly wider than shoulder height or shoulder width and reach. And come back to center. Switch, reach. You'll see these moves again here in just a moment. And reach. One more. And back down. All right. Here we go. We're going to go with our first move. This is going to be for 45 seconds each move. Okay. So don't worry if it takes you a few moments just to kind of get the groove of it or even in to get into a position. It is going to be standing, so it should take a lot of effort to get to the next standing move. So I want you to take one weight. Again, you might have a couple of different sets there just to have options. Now, as we come to stand, I'll show you the first two moves because we'll do them on the same side before we switch. So the first move, you will be standing feet parallel, shoulders relaxed down, rib cage knitted in, and the hip points and the ribs feel like they're connecting. So getting that transverse abdominal engagement. Okay. Then we're gonna go side and back up. So it's just a little side bend right here. Now I want you to watch that you're not shifting your hips over to the side and that you don't feel discomfort of your low back. This may be because ribs are flaring and tail is lifting. So I want you to keep that tail neutral, keep rib cage in and just slide to one side and back up. And then their second move is gonna be a windmill. So we take the feet wider here, toes slightly turned out. We reach that arm up and then we drop down, and I want you to be able to keep an eye on that weight that's over your head. If that's too much, go ahead and drop the weight, and you can just take this to body weight only. Okay, those are first two moves. We'll do them back to back, 45 seconds a piece, and we'll move on from there. So let's get going, grab your weight, and get set. Okay. Starting with that first side bend, reaching over to the side, come up. I want you to think about a side waist crunch. If you were lying on your side and you were reaching up and towards your foot like we do when we're on the balance ball, okay, reach. Don't just collapse, give it a little reach. Like you're pulling something up that's somewhat heavy from the floor. So this is a great way to train for that. So if you do hold something heavy on one side, which most of us do at some point throughout our day, Maybe it's just some heavy item you're picking up at your house. It's a heavy bucket. It's a bag of groceries. It's your bag that you have to carry, whatever it might be. Okay. 
Now come back to center, take that same arm, reach it up, stand wide, okay? Over to the side, take a look, that palm is facing out, okay? So palm facing the same direction as the nose, and try to look up, reaching over, and come back up. Good, you're halfway there on this side. And also we're working the same side we just worked, now a little differently. We're working the bottom side of that waist as well. Down, back up. And give me one more. You're getting ready to switch the side. Come up, bring the weight down, feet back closer together, parallel. Switch arms, hold that weight, go down and up. Inhale. Exhale, imagine that you were lying on this side, the side that you're not holding the weight. Imagine you're lying on that side. You have to lift up and reach over to that ankle. Okay. Think about the waist working on this side when you come back up to help pull you. Okay. Inhale, pulls you over. Exhale, pulls you back up. Make sure you're really neutral through your pelvis so you're not feeling this in your low back. Let's go, last one, and then you're wide again. Take that weight up, palm facing forward, over, back up. It's important that you know where your arm is, so try to take a look, even if it's just your peripheral. If your head doesn't quite turn that far, it's okay. okay. Inhale, exhale up. I want you to brace through your core, keep those ribs knitted down. Inhale, imagine that your waist is like a canister, so you can't break the canister. Good job, you've got 10 seconds. We go to our next move. And last one right here. Swap sides again, come back to center, take that weight, bring the opposite leg up. So we rotate, take it back. Rotate, release. Exhale, breathe in, exhale out. If you need a chair beside you or a wall, go ahead and take that. Good, you're gonna keep that elbow lifted. Rotation is from the waist, not just your elbow moving across the body. So notice my whole chest rotates to the side. Give me two more. Last one and take a little rest. Now take the legs wide again. We're gonna reach up to the same side, both hands holding the weight, okay, inhale. Now exhale, lift the same leg and cross over. Inhale, sweep. A little cross chop. Exhale, sweep. You're still reaching to the same side, rotating to the same side you were a moment ago. So these two moves together before we move on. When you reach up, try to keep the rib cage knitted down. So close, you've got just a few seconds here. Come on, <clears throat> last three, two, one, and switch. All right, hold that weight with the opposite hand, elbow is out, so we've got some work for that delt. Let's go, lift the knee, rotate. It's okay if it takes you a moment to kind of get your groove, get your balance. Exhale. Do a lot of work just from standing. Inhale, exhale, rotate. Keeping an isometric hold with that shoulder, keeping the arm lifted. So our body's always working as a unit. We're not isolating. This is really more functional. Let's go one more. And take just a moment, rest, step it out. Take both hands and reach, okay? Shift and lift. Inhale, exhale, cross. You could do this with body weight only or maybe just something light like a ball or a yoga block. <clears throat> like I said, body weight only will still get the work done. 
Inhale here, we're gonna work those shoulders a little more. Ribs stay down, try not to flare. Just a couple more. Come on, last one here. Now, the shoulders again with your core. Relax it, shake it out a little. I want you to take that weight right in front of you about level with your chest. Now, turn it end to end and then flip it. End to end and flip, flip. You're bracing through your core. This, to me, this is very deceiving. <laughs> Doesn't seem like it would be so much work but we're getting core work and shoulders. We've been working the shoulders almost the whole time. Right? So close. You've only got about 10 seconds left here. Almost there. Four, three, two, one. Keep that weight, drop it down. Now I want you just to lift it halfway, bring it down, okay? Brace through the center, relax your shoulders down. And just put a, put a little pull in the back and then just relax the shoulders from there. Okay. Lift, lower, halfway, lift, lower. Now I want you to take it from halfway. Hold, overhead, back down. Now it's not going right over the crown of your head, it's just going up at an angle. Take it up, not quite all the way down, back up, back to center, good, just to center. Now let's go just a few, all the way up, bring it down, brace, up, one more, up, and bring it down, all right. Very nice, we're gonna come all the way down to the mat, getting ready for our next round of moves. So take a little break if you need it, take some water. From here, we're gonna be doing core, on the mat, weighted, or if you need to drop your weight at any time, feel free to do so. Okay, so our timer is going to be on for 40 seconds of work with each move, but here's the fun part. In between each of the different moves, we have one move that stays the same every time. So for 20 seconds, you can either rest <laughs> or your 20 second move that you're gonna see repeated each time is gonna be a straight leg drop or straight leg double leg lift. So down and up. Now, if that's a little too much, you take those knees, bend them, drop toes to floor and bring it up. So you can do double toe tap or double leg lift or drop and down. And then we might switch it up a little, taking legs wide and back up. So we'll have a few different variations but that will be your 20 second move. So let's start with our first move that our, our every other move is going to change. So first move, one weight, we'll be doing a reclining crunch, just a reach, a shoulder lift. So come on back to the mat, hold that weight right here, feet are bent or knees are bent, feet are on the floor, lift up, bring it down, exhale. Try to curl the shoulders off the floor. Don't strain at the neck. So I want the shoulders soft. Inhale, exhale. If you need to drop a weight, drop the weight, but you could hold a block or a ball, something to give you a little visual here or something for feedback. Just a few seconds here, curl, bring it down. Two more. And last one, now just hold that weight over your chest, lift the legs, double leg drop or bent knees. So straight or bent. Inhale, dropping, try not to rock. Exhale, back up. Inhale, exhale. Deep breath, exhale up. Okay, bring it back to center, drop the feet. And we come back up, but this time I want you to hold and pulse. So just reach, reach. If you start to feel strain around your neck, release the weight that you're holding, support your head. Try not to bob the head here. We're just doing little lifts. Deep breath, blow it out, you've got it. Try to draw belly toward the middle of your spine. 
not your belly button so much, but just the whole center of your body. Pull it in, not just in, but like a corset. All right, now take a pause, hold, recline, and double leg drop. Remember, you could take it to a knee bent toe tap instead. Just a few seconds. Three, two, one, and pause. Bend the knees. Take the weight in your right hand. Straighten the right leg out. Lift up. Reach. Again, if that weight's a little too heavy, drop it or take something lighter to hold. You will still get a lot of work here, regardless of whether you're holding anything heavy or not. Reach. Just a few seconds here. Come on. For four, three, two, one. Go back to that double leg drop or double toe tap. This time, if you're going let double leg straight leg, take them out wide, bring them back to center. Out to the corners, up to center. Out and up. Ribs down and up. One more. Now we switch sides. Take the right foot down, left leg up, left hand holding the weight and lift. You could always hold the head with your opposite hand. Try not to push your chin forward, keeping your head resting back. Still breathing. You've got 15 seconds. You're close here. Keep breathing and exhale. Five, four, three, two, and one. Pause. Double leg. Take them wide or toe taps. I want you to be mindful. Think about what's happening as you drop those legs. Your ribs and hips staying like they're connected without any wobble. One more. Go ahead. Come up into seated for just a moment. We have an option here. One side only, sweep. Bring it back. Sweep. Bring it back. Now, it's a sweep, not just a normal twist, right? It's like a nice sweeping motion. You can add on to this by rolling back, rolling up, and sweep. Okay? So, the combination of the two or just the one move, sweep. Just the one side and sweep. It's like a nice little slow motion move. Up and now roll it back. Get ready. And we take those legs up again. Here we go. Down, open, in, up. Okay. Down, open. Even if your knees are bent, you could do this variation going down, tap, in, up. Just one more, that's it. And now we do that sweep to the opposite side. Bring yourself up, either just sweep it to the side, staying seated, or take that roll back. Up, and sweep. Inhale, if you're not rolling up, that's okay. You're getting a lot of great oblique work, it's fine. Okay, so take what's right for you. If you have to throw yourself back up here, then maybe you need to stay with just the seated variation for now. Keep working on that roll-up strength. Okay. Last four, three, two, one. Roll it back again. Here we go. Double leg drop, down, out, in. Let's add that little open V. Down, out, in. Down. Out just four seconds. One more. And hold it. Bend the knees. Little dead bug. Right hand holding the weight. Okay. Left leg will move out. So just opposites reach. Same side every time. Back in. Inhale. Overhead. Exhale in. Ribs knitted down. Pull down through ribs and hips. Connecting. Reach. Bring it back to center. 10 seconds. Inhale, good. 
Last four, three, two, one, and come back to center. Here we go. Double leg drop. I want you to pause at the bottom. Two, three, bring it up. Take it down, hold. Two, three, bring it up. Down, hold. Two, three, bring it up and bend the knees. We're back to that other side. So dead bug, second side. Left hand holding weight. Reach, bring it in. Inhale, make sure that weight's not too heavy here. Inhale, take it out. If you wanna do this body weight only, still very effective. Over halfway on this side. Inhale, exhale, you got it. Keep breathing, focusing on the movement. Five seconds, one more, right here. Bring it up. All right, let's go to that little double leg lift, hold. So we drop down, hold, two, three, bring it up. Even if knees are bent, you can hover. Two, three, and up. Hover, one, two, three, and up. Now I want you to roll yourself all the way up to seated. So roll to the side, push yourself up, whatever you need to do. We're gonna roll back. <laughs> so we're gonna roll it back. And I want you to go as slowly as you can. Try not to let your shoulders land all the way and then bring yourself back up. Roll it on back. If you need to put something behind you so that you don't go all the way down, that's okay. Okay, we're really focused on the roll back part. Slow control, take a hover. Bring it up. Activate the core deeply so we don't just use those hip flexors here. Come on, one more. Deep breath. Exhale, bring it up. Good job, roll all the way back. Yeah, we've got those double leg drops down. Just whatever variation you want here. Don't get in a hurry. This is our next to the last time doing this. We're almost there. All right, your last one, I want you to drop your feet down, float your shoulders off the mat, reach forward, hold. Now, tap the toes out, bring them in. Out, in. You could do this with one leg only. Out, in. Out, in. Hold the head with your hands if needed. Double tap. Double tap. Good, or single tap. You're almost there, relax the shoulders, head can be. Support it with your hands, but would you want those shoulders lifted if possible? Come on, we're almost there. This is the last move. Okay, we've got one more double leg drop, that's it. Here we go, take those legs up, pause, and go. Why don't you take a big hollow hold with me and come back. Take the arms overhead, and drop the legs down, come back. On this one, I want you to take it out. It could be bent knees or straight legs, hold everything, hollow hold, eight, Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and rest. That's it. Awesome work. I want you to roll yourself all the way over. So find a spot that you can rest on your mat. I'm just gonna flip it this way so I can see better. All right. So elbows underneath your shoulders. Let's give a little counter here with a sphinx. Plant the tops of your feet. Go ahead and take your feet wide. Deep breath in. Now, you could stay here, or if you feel like you have a little more range of motion today, pop the elbows up just right where you were. So from sphinx to a little swan lifting up. I want you to try to aim the, the little tip of the pubic bone area toward the mat so your tail is down. Don't be, try not to hang out there in the front of your pelvis. So whichever variation feels right for you today, let's bring it back down. Hands go underneath the shoulders, so gently press up, back into the table, and then moving into a cat stretch. Release it down, inhale, exhale. Neutral with the inhale, one more exhale, cat stretch. 
and then back down. Have a seat and stay right here for a moment. Let's take the left leg in front the way I've got it here and we'll take the right leg, straighten it out. Left hand comes behind you. Sweep your right arm up and you're gonna put a little weight on this knee and on your heel as you lift your hips up and reach back. Just open up through the body, front and sides. Bring it back down. Let's take a little side reach. So foot is flexed, arm right beside your leg. Lift up, reach up, and then just sink over to the side. So we did a lot of awesome core work standing and on the mat. We did obliques. And we did all through the rectus abdominis and muscles, the mirror muscles in the front, deep transverse engagement, those deep core muscles. So I want you to come back to the other side. Let's stretch out through the front body again, lift. And then bring it down. Keep that foot flexed, push out through the heel, rotate slightly to open and reach. And come all the way back up. Awesome work today. Bring yourself back into some variation of cross leg position. We'll turn to one side and then back to the other, all the way back to center. Amazing work today. Bring your arms up, big sweep and deep breath in. Let the hands meet, drive it right down to your heart. Bow to your own Pilates sculpting body working rock star self today. <laughs> you did amazing. Thank you for showing up.